thank you for uh, setting aside uh, your time to watch this clip. Um, this is uh, uh, the first of uh, five clips uh, uh, that I'm uh, uh, broadcasting on the five uh, principles uh, of the infamous Sun Tzu's uh, uh, Art of War, which is probably something you are all familiar with. Sun Tzu was probably the greatest uh, Chinese, ancient Chinese general and his treaty, um, uh, his treatise, sorry, um, The Art of War uh, is uh, a classic uh, that is, uh, uh, that was initially written about uh, principles of strategy uh, in warfare, uh, but has since uh, been used in a variety of uh, counseling, uh, uh, corporate, uh, state policy, uh, interpersonal, and all kinds of social contexts, uh, because it is uh, uh, universal in its uh, focus, and uh, the principles that Sun Tzu writes about uh, basically encapsulate the essence of uh, all kinds of uh, interpersonal, uh, interinstitutional, intergroup, uh, international, uh, interstate, and all, the, all other kinds of transactions and relationships. So, typically, uh, Sun Tzu's uh, uh, The Art of War uh, is treated today as uh, uh, the uh, uh, ultimate manual for uh, uh, all kinds of negotiations. <laughs> Now, at the beginning of the treatise, um, uh, Sun Tzu uh, sets uh, sets out uh, uh, to 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 uh, define five permanent elements that define any kind of negotiation or warfare, as he uh, uh, uses it uses as as he labels it. Um, and the first of these principles; these are the five principles that dominate is thinking about relationships generally and the first of those five principles is the moral law <clears throat> now um, why is the moral law crucial to negotiations and all kinds of relationships specifically in the context that Sun Tzu is concerned about and that is uh, uh, the context of winning not the moralistic context of doing the right thing, but the context of winning in a war, winning in a negotiation, uh, succeeding in fostering a successful relationship of any kind. <clears throat> uh, Sun Tzu uh, uh, believes that the moral law is what keeps an army together, what keeps one's uh, friends and affiliates, and even in the uh, broader psychological sense, one's personal energy together. If there is sufficient moral justification for the cause that we pursue in a particular relationship, in a particular life project, uh, it is more likely that we will be able to remain consistent, that we will keep our focus, and that we will be able to fight off distractions, uh, that we will be uh, more motivated and that we will be able to attract uh, a following and uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, be able to create coalitions to achieve our goals. Why is that? Uh, well, one of the practical uh, reasons, philosophical, but at the same time psychotherapeutic, is that when we make decisions, in the context of any relationship or in the context of any negotiation. We are uh, faced with the need to make sacrifices sooner or later, usually sooner. And the more we are willing to make sacrifices, regardless of what kind of sacrifices this is, they might be uh, 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 micro-sacrifices in terms of sacrifices of our time every day, setting aside uh, an hour or two or three to write uh, and uh, work on a project, exercise, uh, 
work on home improvements, whatever. Uh, uh, or it's a greater uh, sacrifice in terms of uh, giving up on something that is really important to us in exchange for being able to pursue something else that we are interested in at the moment, such as, for example, uh, uh, giving up a hobby in order to pursue uh, 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 something that requires all of our time and all of our energy, or uh, giving up education in order to work, or giving up work in order to um, pursue education, or giving up a relationship in order to uh, uh, work on self-development. Uh, whatever the sacrifice, it, it becomes necessary sooner or later in any important project. And the way we make sacrifices, this is usually when, uh, uh, when we uh, fail uh, in, 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 in our efforts to be consistent and we fail to pursue our projects, uh, our relationships, uh, our negotiations in the broad sense to the end. We fail when we lose uh, uh, not only motivation, usually it's thought that we fail when we lose the motivation, but we, we fail when we lose purpose <clears throat> and when, when we lose the vision and the sense that what we are doing is necessary and justified. Uh, if something is inconsistent with our values and our values uh, are based, uh, they're couched in the social values of the community that we live in, the moment we uh, diverge from our values, we also diverge from the main source of our internal energy, which we usually call motivation. And depending on the strength of will and the uh, discipline of a particular person, one may pursue the project for a while longer. But without the belief that this is uh, morally justified and even necessary for us to pursue any kind of project, any kind of relationship, from a romantic relationship. We, we believe, for example, that this is really what we need at this stage of our lives, a serious and in-depth, a warm and intimate relationship. And also that this is the same, uh, uh, that this, this same thing the other person uh, needs as much as we do. Uh, that this is the right thing to do, that this is something that hurts no one, that this is something that contributes to the overall good, both of ourselves and the other person and our friends and our families. If there are those kinds of considerations, those kinds of beliefs, those kinds of convictions, we are far more likely to succeed in pursuing the relationship than if there is a Romeo and Juliet aspect where you know, we are in love with someone, but this hurts our families, this hurts our friends, this is socially unacceptable, this is a kind of hybris, right? This is something that, that conflicts with basic social norms, with uh, social expectations or etiquette. Uh, we might be able to pursue such a relationship for a while, uh, despite the uh, social normativity and, and, and the you know, uh, 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 the values that we have internalized from that society, so in a sense, despite ourselves, despite a part of ourselves, we might be able to pursue that part of ourselves which, which is in love with the other person, despite the part of ourselves that is against that relationship. We enter into the realm of normative and psychological ambivalence, which, as I said in one of the other videos, is extremely uh, 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 exhausting and uh, 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 ambivalence is a highly dynamic and, and, and potentially very dangerous uh, psychic state. So the more we act in line with the general uh, value order, with the general uh, structure of value-laden beliefs, uh, which Sun Tzu calls the moral law, uh, the greater the motivation and the energy we will be able to muster uh, and the greater su uh, the support and the loyalty uh, by others that we will be able to uh, garner in order to uh, pursue uh, the relationship, the project, the business, uh, and the uh, idea, uh, whatever... Uh, transaction with the others, with the society and with the world, 
uh, that we are involved in. So uh, the principle of ethical propriety, uh, which Sun Tzu calls the principle of the moral law, is the first practical principle that many people neglect when they uh, embark on uh, a particular interpersonal, social, or, or merely personal project. Um, in a sense, uh, everything that is wrong, ethically wrong, is doomed to fail in the end. And uh, this is not uh, due to some kind of cosmic or metaphysical justice. Uh, uh, in any other way than the fact that uh, the principle of metaphysical justice is built into our inner motivation. It is, it is we who sanction ourselves and obstruct ourselves uh, when we pursue uh, relationships and projects that are not in line with the ethical standards that we are aware of. We may be explicitly against those standards, we may defy them, we may uh, uh, even muster the strength to, uh, you know, uh, and, and marshal a coalition to, to uh, work against those principles for a while, but eventually we will be exhausted and eventually we will give up or, or, or allow ourselves subconsciously to be defeated in that relationship. Uh, if it is not ethically sound.